Today on Tees Time, we're finally gonna get back to doing the interior. We have cabinets. So that's the day after I make room. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Tees Time. I'm TJ, thank you for tuning in. Uh, today, we're gonna start getting our cabinets situated. Or I shouldn't say today, but this weekend, we're going to get the cabinet situated. It's a, a pretty hefty job. So luckily today, I have help. My Uncle Larry, my dad, Terry. Anything I want to say? Hey, just here to help him. Anything he needs. No shout outs? Man, I'm here to work. <laughs> <laughs> greetings to all. Greetings and salutations. Hey, greetings uh, to my son. Hadn't seen him. Uh, try to help him out when I'm up here. So he, he, he got me for... Uh, Maybe two hours. <laughs> Just joking. Whenever, how, how long it takes. Free help is hard to find. And good help also. But uh, let me show you what we have to do to get this cabinet situated. All right, and uh, for the cabinets, uh, the cabinet that we're building uh, this weekend, we're gonna try to do uh, this right here. It's a long one. It's uh, about eight feet long. Uh, so just being able to like have extra help, extra hands to hold the cabinet up in the air and get like the wires that are coming down like through, uh, like in the corner and stuff like that. And uh, excuse the humming, uh, the inverter's charging. Uh, but in order to do the cabinet like all that stuff all this has to come down So I could do all the wall paneling throw that up and then throw the cabinet up itself uh, So right now we're gonna get the the cabinet built. We're gonna build the frame. We're gonna get all this stuff disconnected and It should go smooth so uh, a lot of like building a lot of disconnecting safety first make sure you disconnect your power that's gonna the the major concern is just you don't want to like short anything out you don't want to ruin your equipment and you don't want to get electrocuted so just make sure you you're safe when you're working uh so we're gonna get at it enjoy stay tuned let's make this happen This is where we're at right now. We have the wall stripped. As you can see, complete difference. That's all cluster of wires that we eventually have to put back. Like we'll get that situated uh, eventually, but like the, the focus of this video is just to get like this wall, this cabinet finished up and then everything else should just hopefully like flow together nicely. Uh, so we're gonna work on getting the, the wall paneling up right here and then the cabinet. Uh, so that's what we're gonna get right now so stay tuned enjoy
All right, this is where we're at right now with the, the wall and the cabinet situation. Uh, right here for the window frame, I have to trim this down because the cabinet comes down to where this line is. So I have to kind of recess this uh, pillar right here, the windowsill, so that way it sits flush so the cabinet doesn't sit like cocked at an angle. Uh, so I got to use a isolating uh, saw I'm going to use to just cut that down just a little bit. Or I can actually use... Uh, the regular uh, hand saw, the circular saw. Uh, we shall see on that. Uh, but on the cabinet itself, I marked out where uh, my outlets are gonna be. I got a hole, two holes, so two separate outlets right there uh, for the fans, uh, the exhaust fans for the cabinet. They're gonna come up through here. And then I also have a hole on the cabinet for that one. And I'm gonna do a two gauge and the, what is it? The one op uh, cables to uh, the inverter. I'm gonna have them come out like right here. So when I drill those holes, I'm going to have to have the cabinet up against the wall with the, the vinyl paneling up so I can get those holes like exact without messing up or trying to have to measure for them. I'll measure it on the cabinet, drill those, and then we have a hole right here for our solar panels. And I'm going to do a hole right here for all these wires to come through. And these are just going to run down behind the wall and then be like down here somewhere like nice and we'll make everything uh, tidy. But uh, let me show you the cabinet. So this is the cabinet right here. And then we have like our measurements where I need to make the holes right there, right there. Our outlets right there. And these are the three holes for the wires to so the, the solar charge controller and the inverter. I'm gonna have uh, three holes right there. And then also right here for the 12 volt to come up. And the four inch hole right here for all the wires to come through. That's right there. So uh, it came out pretty good. I used, uh, what did I use? Uh, three fourths, oh, it was a one inch by three and three fourths maple for the, the frame itself. And then I used uh, birch wood in a half inch and in a quarter. Uh, just trying to save weight, uh, but like kind of just learn as you go. For like the next cabinets, I might just do like a birch and a half inch for like the tops and the bottoms and the sides. And then use a quarter inch for the back because I didn't have to make like a little, uh, like right here is going to be like my mounted points. So I made like a little frame, a cage for uh, the back and the top. I used a quarter inch. So like it is a little flimsy, so I like I, I caged it in just to have some mounting points. So like the weight savings, like I might sacrifice that a little bit just so I could have like a cleaner look on the cabinets and just do like a half inch uh, top bottom sides, and then on the back I'll use like a quarter inch, and I'll just use the the tops and the sides to mount it to the the van, the walls itself. So like we're gonna mount like right here. There's like a pillar, but like right here, this is where I have a 55 inch. There's a 22 inch right here, so be able to mount like here, here, and then mount against the two by fours also. Uh, so it should be sturdy. Uh, so right now I'm just gonna cut the vinyl board, get that stuff situated. I think you saw me in a previous video uh, cutting like with the wall board where I started like on this stuff on that side. Uh, so I'm not gonna show you like me cutting that to just to kind of save time on this video and not be repetitive. Uh, so if you want to see that, just look back. Uh, I believe it's like before I did the wall mount, the TV wall mount. So uh, check that out if you need it. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get the, the vinyl board and stuff cut out, cut out around like the window and uh, this access panel. The AC lines run behind that. 
I just have to note for uh, the AC lines, this red marker, that marks where the AC lines run, so not to drill into that. But like for the mounting spots, uh, it, it's, it's, it'll miss that. So it'll be like right here and about like right here. So I'll put like one, two, and that should clear that without any issue. But just be aware of everything behind your wall. Like when you're drilling and you're mounting stuff, you don't want to like drill into important stuff, wires, hoses, whatever's behind your walls. If you're in a van, electrical, AC lines, if you're in a house, like water pipes and stuff like that. Uh, just be aware of that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting the vinyl for all like the shapes. Going to match those shapes, the cutouts and all that jazz. So that's where we're at. Uh, when you see me again, I'll be uh, like throwing the, the wall, the paneling up. But like when I throw the paneling up, I'm going to have to take it like this half anyway. It's going to take like two pieces to for the length of the cabinet. I'm going to take it down because right here, once I drill those three holes for uh, the wires to come through, I have to peel this back to run the wires behind the wall to drop down to come out over here to reach uh, the bus bar that will live like right here. So uh, this has to go behind the wall. And there's another, uh, for size-wise anyway, that's a... Uh, two gauge two gauge right here that's a go behind the wall also with this uh so uh let me get to the cutting <laughs> let's make this happen
boom, bada bing. The cabinet's in, it's installed, it's finished. Thanks to my pops, thanks to my uncle. Definitely couldn't do that by myself, so I do appreciate the help very much, and everybody has their fingers. So that's a plus. And this is our cabinet. We have all our holes cut out for all our outlets, our 12 volt, for our inverter, our 12 volt supply, solar, and then all of our uh, 120 volt. So like all this is in is mounted and secure. So we do have a problem, the issue with uh, the bench. It was just uh, too long with uh, the two by fours on the side. So like I'm gonna end up maybe rebuilding this or just trying to figure out how to actually get these battery trays mounted uh, without like too much of a struggle. But uh, the bench uh, was built before I had like a jig and a hole saw. So like I might wanna rebuild it anyway. But uh, the main focus for this video was just to actually get like this mounted and finished in the wall paneling up. So uh, mission complete and it's a success. And that's the hardest cabinet. So the rest should be easy. And I jinxed myself by saying it should be easy. So uh, that is it. So until next Wednesday, till next Wednesday, what's the point of a dream or a vision if you don't execute? So I'll see y'all next Wednesday. Peace, TJ.